The course I play golf at regularly asked me recently if I'd make new tee markers for them. One as the state of Oregon, and another in the shape of the University of Oregon's logo. I started with a trip to the X-Carve machine. With the pieces cut out, I went to the router table and put a 1 8 inch round over on each of the edges. Batching out work like this can be tedious, but it is really good for teaching you how to be effective in your techniques. With the tops finished, I trued up some reclaimed 4x4s for the bases. If you're enjoying this video, why not take a minute to hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos either. Thanks. With all of the blocks cut out, I need to cut a groove in the top that will hold the toppers. To accomplish this, I slowly sneak up on the correct width by trial and error. With a good fit for the top, I angle my table saw at 45 degrees and add a little style to the top in the form of a chamfer. To secure the markers in the ground, I first drill a 3 16 inch hole through the center of the block and then a 3 8 inch hole part way through the top. This way the nail I'm using doesn't extend all the way through the bottom. A couple of coats of marine spar varnish should add to the longevity of the T markers. Here I'm cutting some 3 8 inch plugs to keep the nails from coming back up through the top. I'm inserting these scraps to keep paint from getting into the groove to ensure a better glue up. I bought a Homerite Finish Max paint sprayer for this job. And for what I needed it for, I sure was impressed with how well it worked.
And here's the tee markers set out on the sixth hole at Emerald Valley Golf Club where I play. Go Ducks!